it's been a while since I last exploded myself, and please don't take that out of context, you dirty minded fraud, because I'm on about Fortress GX, right? And we're gonna combine it with Chestnut V. <laughs> I've been wanting to play a chestnut deck for a while. In fact, I built a chestnut penny deck. Maybe if you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. It's not great, but it can be quite cool. But I always wondered what would Fortress do to a chestnut deck? I mean, it allows you to charge up its touchdown. And if you combine it with Lilligan V-Star using the star perfume ability, you can get chestnuts out very quickly and fill up your board just as fast as I can fill up your mother. Yeah, this hideous intro is getting a bit too sus for my liking. Let's just play with the Fortress. Let's get some games. And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PDCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your decks using code FDW for 5% off, TCG Bulk, where you can buy and sell your bulk cards and whatnot, but you can buy and sell collectible Pokemon cards live. And they're even giving you £10 off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below, but for now, let's get going. These sleeves, bro, these sleeves give me nightmares, all right? It's ADP, bro. ADP just won't die. Nah, in all seriousness, man, I tell you what, to be fair, I didn't really play around the ADP era, but... Uh, uh, for the little time that I did, it was depressing. And I can't lie, as I said, I just give me mad, mad flashbacks. So what are we playing here? This might be... I see the squawk. I see this. This might be Kyoga God of War. At least I hope it's that, because that's fun. Let's go for a VIP pass. Get a chestnut, and I've also prized the Lilligant. I prized... I prized... I prized Lilligant. Oh, great. So we're just going to have to go without it. Which, to be fair, is not impossible. Lilligant's only there to get our chestnuts out quickly. But this hand kind of has what we need. Let's just end turn here. And I think we'll be okay. Anyway, let's find out what our opponent's playing here. Rolts down. They're getting energy on the rolts. So a psychic energy, you don't often see that. Level ball? Unless it is guard. It's guard of... Why are you playing a... Hey, what's this squawk doing in here? Wait, it's squawk in the post rotation build. Maybe they're trying to work on post rotation and that's that or... Wait, I, I don't know. Wait, uh, guardy players, let me know. Squawk? Is that like a legit thing now or have I missed something? I don't actually know. Either way, they get Cresselia and another rolls into play. This is going to be tough though because of one at KO potential. A lot of this chestnut rests on you not being able to KO it, which isn't great for this. For Oh, Iona though, I like that, which isn't great for the format. But then I, I want to play chestnut, man. Let me play my Pokemon. Let's get another chestnut. Are we also present? Wait, hold on, hold on. So I prize a Lilligan, Lilligan Visa and a chestnut V. So three of my prizes are Pokemon. That's just so good to know, isn't it? That's amazing stuff. So I want to be KOing their, their guard a while, right? Pretty much. The squawk, I mean, I could actually just Oko the squawk to be fair. Should I just greet it? Shall I? I'm an ultra ball here. I'll get rid of Arvin and Bravery Charm. Or actually, no, in this case, I'll get rid of the, yeah, Arvin and Counter Catcher. Oh, wait, no, I played two Lilligan V. Hold on, hold on. So I priced two Lilligan V. Oh, brother. This deck stinks. <laughs> yeah. All right, two Lilligan V and a, and a Chestnut V. Okay, that's that's good to know, but also depressing. So let's just explode in energy and just get energy into play. And my Chestnut now hits 160 with Defiance Band. So I will take out the Squawk. It does literally instantly even the playing field, which is nice. And... The, the good thing about Chestnut going into Guardi, of course, Guardi puts damage on itself and yada, yada, yada. So if they hit into us, then they, they just have it. There's a new dynamic they got to take into account. So let's put a charm down. Let's Iono bring him down to four whilst we're on six. And we are absolutely cooking now. So I'm going to start filling out my deck by getting rid of uh, nonsense cards. I could go for another Pine Cove if I need to. I'm not going to bench it for obvious reasons. But that is 160. KO on the squat. Can I find a Chestnut, please? Now I just see Chestnuts. I don't even need Litigant anymore, bro. Just give me a Chestnut. Ah, uh, it's a Litigant, but that's just higher odds in it. Either way, let's see what they can do here. A way around the Guard of War is to go with Cresselia's. Of course, you just get a bunch of energy discard power. Cresselia, do Moon Glow reverse. It means you're not hitting me and you're also accelerating to your Guardi without putting damage down. So there's definitely a way plus reversal. I mean, no, look, it's not like it's impossible for Guardi to do anything here, but it does force them to play in a way that they may not be so used to. And on the ladder, Oh, oh, you can take some dubs, baby. Let's see. Curlia coming out. And there's a refinement. Get rid of your VIP pass. And another Rolt's down. Should I? Oh, oh they get reversal on Rolt. Okay. All right, they're going to research. Cool. Uh, are, they, are they with that? That's an easy boss for us. An easy boss. Funnily enough, the reversal doesn't actually apply right now because of the obvious, right? We're even on prizes. So that's just a boss target for me, I think. I don't know if they should have benched that. Uh, sorry, not benched. But I don't know if they should have attached that, that reversal. That's got to be a misplay, though, no? because you're just giving the opportunity to bring that up. Yeah, blood is absolutely wilding. Also, pen 
Penny. I need to find Penny at some point too. I feel like that's going to be important as well. They go for an Ultra Ball with this. Oh, do you know what? I, it's so weird seeing this Ultra Ball. Someone from Sun and Moon. Uh, and they get Guard Vary X anyway, but they need another Akani to pull it out. But they put two extra energy on this. Oh, and they skip. <laughs> Bro, passed. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. But you're going to hate my guts. I'm just going to bring up the Rolts, man. I don't know what you're thinking. Unless they're thinking something and I, 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 I you know, they're playing chess while I'm playing checkers. I don't know, but I'm taking a KO when I can see that. Definitely, definitely doing that. I don't know why they committed so much so early. I guess it's the fear of the chestnut. It's the fear factor. No, I get it. Yeah, the chestnut. They're sitting there going to need to attach. They need to sign up, come up, take a one at KO. I don't know about that one, Chief. That was rough. Actually, to be fair, I think it's a lady. They did give me the, the, the thumbs down and it was a woman. So sorry, darling. Game's to game, innit? It's weird how when I say it's women, I start, I, start, I go cockney all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm a fraud. Right, full crystal coming in and they get an energy. So they get attached to the guard of our, maybe go for a shining cup, but they, they can't do anywhere near enough to take an Oko on me right now. Unless they find their other reversal. And if I'm correct, Guardi plays two usually. Then again, though, hold the phone. We saw a squawk in here, so we don't know what's going on. They did Greninja, though, and they are six energy. In, well, actually, five psychic energy in the discard. They're getting rid of collapse with the fight refinement. Scream tail. Um, actually, oh, that's an interesting question. If you're active, so they could scream tail, hit my bench chestnut, and it won't apply needle line. That's very interesting. But I'm just holding this Iona. They take a KO. Iona just going to be problem for them. Well, is it, though? No, not really, because of the guard of it. They can refinement and stuff. They're going to go for a boss, though, and bring up this one. That's why we have a decent switch card count. Many a times the opponent tried to do this, but I'm not accepting that, all right? Not in my neck of the woods, at least. They're going to psychic it embrace. It seems like they might go for moon glow here. Yeah, it's not a bad shout. As I said, it accelerates ahead of time, doesn't it? And it might actually be worth... Is it worth attacking with Guardi EX? I mean, it's a big Pokemon for me to try and knock out. Yeah, it's a lot of questions, but they're doing the right thing now here. And as they're attaching to screen tail, they don't want to heal that one for obvious reasons, but it does give them max damage output of 100. Let's see. Does it apply mathematically, that extra 20 off the... I don't know if it does. If you're hitting big enough, well, actually, yeah, yeah, because the, the, the guard of our charged up is 150. This charged up's 190. I guess you could say for this, but yeah, I'd, I would have kept the damage on the screen tail. Right, I think I go for a switch card now. Would have liked that earlier on, because that actually would have uh, moved me out of the way of a brainwave, but oh well. And we're just going to go for an Iono Hope. We just need to find energy now, really. That's kind of what I want, and we don't get it. I do get another switch card. Oh, if I got another energy, that would have been so good. Switch card, energy, swing, but no, that's not happening. All right, touchdown. But that does mean I can take a hit one time with Chestnut if they can't KO me. Oh, I forgot I heal myself. Oh, 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 this deck is cracked. Also, a card I really should be throwing here is Serena, isn't it? Radiant Serena. Yeah, I didn't put Radiant Serena in here. It's actually not a bad shout, huh? I mean, I originally played it. Do you remember the Rillaboom version? That was good fun. And I also played a Serena in there. I don't know why I didn't do it this time. Yeah, I really should because I always have a bench spot available. Liligant gets it. What am I doing? What am I doing with life? I'm a fraud. Anyway, they go for a concealed cards here. And uh, they're going to get the Mirage Step Curlier out. So that's one extra less draw, which is fine. Also, Arvin, what can you do for me? Nothing now, really, innit? I don't play Vessel. And a Vessel would have been nice to just grab an energy again. But this is why I like Litigant, right? Litigant just kind of opens that up a lot. So maybe I should have benched the Litigant V just so I can use the V-Star power? I don't know. Anyway, they go for a Scream Tail here. And they can get some good damage down, to be fair to them. But right now, they're only doing... What are they doing? Two for each, so they're doing what 160 right now? Am I right? Two, four, six, eight. Wait, no, 80. Wait, wait. Why is my brain hurting here? This all makes sense. Wait, they're only doing 80, right? Yeah, they're only doing 80. It's, it's fine. It's fine. My brain just stopped working. <laughs> my brain was trying to do like what two times four. Well, it's, it's eight, but then it's like 20 times 40. That's 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 800. My brain, okay, don't, don't. All right, it, it's it, I get it. It's fine. Iono, I mean, that kind of sucks. I lost that switch cart there, which I could have liked to use. Let's get a penny. No, it's another Iono. Counter catcher would be annoying here, but they just go for roaring scream. Why are you hitting me, bro? Hit the bench. Oh no, <laughs> they just KO'd themselves. Oh my god, I don't know why they done that. You hit the bench, mate. Unless they, unless they have some sort of shot, but I'm only gonna take one prize card. Give me a boss and it's game. I crumba. Chestnut V though. Oh, it's an energy. Actually, I'll take that. But a bit of annoying thing that I mean, one prize left is a chestnut. We've been nerfed the whole game and we get a switch cart, which I think is just kind of like, we just got to do it. Let's just do it. Well, also Iono here. So they have to hit straight 280 now to want to KO me. That just ain't happening. And if they hit me with the Gardevoir, then that's that, right? The, uh, the, the needle line will, will finish the job. So let's see what they do here. It's still not over, but my God, is it bloody close. I just can't believe they didn't hit the bench with the screen tail. Unless they didn't read and they didn't, they really, they, they thought that it, it would just needle line anyway. But at that point, wouldn't you just attack with Guardi? I mean, now you want to do Guardi EX for sure, right? Otherwise, 
you just lose. They boss and they go for my... Uh, oh, actually, well, no, that goes down. It's still fine. And again, hitting into it, you're still going to take damage regardless. So I don't know if this is... Oh, reversal, though. That could definitely come in at some point. Oh, there's there's a play here, right? Where they event, ev eventually KO my chestnut and then boss up something with that guard of war. So they're going to put 40 damage over now. Take 90. That's 130. If they KO the turn afterwards with that, then I just win. So they can't go for that route. They can't attack me with this guard of war because that's a KO. I mean, I think we're kind of checkmated right now. Oh, wait, hold on. I've got uh, I've got another switch cut left in my oven, so that's fine. Yeah, so then I just force it, right? I just say, right, I'm going to hit your guard of war. Now, what do you do? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Right, 130 on that. It's now got 180. So we hit 130 on it again. And we're just cooking. All right, so let's go for an oven. Get a final switch cut and defiance band. Switch cut into the chunky chestnut and just swing for 130. What can they do now? I'm sure there's nothing they can do. Even if they hit me with this guard of white HGG, unless they, bro, imagine they drop a path to the peak. You never know these days. Bro, I'm telling you, that would be kind of wild, but I, it ain't, brother, it ain't happening. No shots. They're getting energy on the guard wall, though, and they retreat. Are you gonna mirage step? <laughs> no, there's the brainwave. I guess gonna make like the Titanic and take me down with him. Oh, they couldn't even get the KO. Oh, God, I feel bad for him. But that, my friend, is a GG. The needle line's coming into play, and I'll take that. Any day of the week, mate. Thank you very much. All right, I have to hit a Tails on this aroma, you know. Actually, change that. <laughs> we're fine. Uh, let's go for an aroma, though. We'll go for it. And if it's a Tails, even... Yes, yeah, see? We're cooking, bro. Just get ourselves the Ligand V down. And we have all we need for next turn, assuming we don't get 1-8 KO'd by... Wait, there's a potential we get 1-8 KO'd by Maraid on here. You know, Zapdos and... I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's just enter. Famous last words there. Let's see, though. Reggie Alecki. Ah, yeah, I'm seeing these Reggie Alecki hand stacks pop up now. Really interesting stuff, but I'm sorry. I'm not your guy, mate. I'm not your guy. They do play an Arvin, though. Get the Nest Ball and a Defiance Ban. And they go for the Nest Ball. Can they go Ninja down? Interesting they grab Defiance Ban and not Forest Seal Stone, which you typically see in this kind of build. Also, this is like actually doing good in Japan, by the way. Like, Iron Hands Reggie Lecky, it's it actually is doing well, which is really funky to see uh, Reggie Lecky kind of research, but obviously it's just taking the spot of Flaffy. It is really interesting, but okay, they just come in hot with that lightning wall, which means I'm barely going to do any damage to them, but my needle line does some damage anyway, and I get some heals, and I can maybe switch into another one if I get lucky. Iono, that's fine, but let's get the boys out, shall we? It's time to start cooking. We're going to an elegant V-star here, and we're just going to get, oh, we've priced a chest snort for god's sake uh in that case i think i just get energy oh no 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 okay wow i've prized a lot of stuff well that sucks anywho let's go for this because i am going to go for an iono now and in doing so hopefully do what i need to do here which is i kind of want to retreat out this chest snort you know what i'm gonna do well i'm gonna attach to it and we're exploding energy here and we'll get five energy there all the energy in deck which is unfortunate really and we'll go for that play i think i want to find a charm just to try and keep this boy alive. Regardless, there goes the Fortress, and we attach that there. Go for an Ultra Ball just to thin out. I don't like Fortress now. I know I can attack with it, but I just don't want to, and also I want to thin up my deck. So, just gonna go for an Iono here. Bring him down to four. Me to six. Means we have some decent odds to get a Switch Cart or something, and there it is. There we go. Switch Cart it means I can just be a little bit alive. Next turn at least, and from there I can do pretty much nothing else, really. Gonna be hitting 60, unfortunately, but 90 does go back into him. It's a shame I've priced a Chestnut again, but that's my fault, really, for not playing heavy ball really is it I, I can see some improvements that already need to be done i'm not going to do it for the video because i ain't got the time but i think well no that's a lie i do have the time the truth is i cannot be bothered <laughs> i'm just running with it baby i'll stay here now okay Get a heavy ball in there. Get a Serena, Radiant Serena in there and you're cooking. Also, I realize my, my frame rate's going funky. I hope we're fine. I, eh, if my frame rate's weird, it's fine. It's just pretend it's not happening. But in all seriousness, though, uh, just, yeah, heavy ball and a Serena. Um, you can figure out why you want to go. I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just playing Chestnut and vibing, all right? Either way, they are going to go for another Lightning Wall. And thankfully, because of the needle line, I, I get a KO anyway. So that's cool. I also technically could go for a Counter Catcher here. Unless I just go for an Arvin Switch Cart. And I could really heal off a lot, you know. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of vibing with it. Also, they put a poncho on the hand. What are you doing, my brother? Let's get the litigants just for thinning sake. I could use that for draw for a turn, but that's just, you're just losing if you do that. I'm going to Arvin here. Yeah, I'm going to get a switch car and a, a, a bravery charm. And that way I can heal this chestnut while simultaneously healing this one and still taking the KO because that touched that Wait, it's 30 damage? Why was it 60 before then? Oh, defiance ban. Okay, cool. Well, that actually worked out mathematically. So uh, thank you, me, for autopiloting that a little. <laughs> well, there's an energy. We can start touching energy. That's fine. Oh, yeah. I guess another vessel could be good as well. Heavy ball, Serena, Radiant Serena, and a 
vessel. There you go. Free, free cards, I would suggest. There's a scoop. And my brother, this deck legitimately works. It's kind of cool, man. Starting off with what is a fantastic hand. Like, this is literally everything we need. Apart from... The Litigant V Star, but we have the Forest Chest of Panko, and yes, I did sneak in a Penny. I know I mentioned in the intro the idea of me wanting to play Penny with the Chestnut, and unfortunately, you could still do it. It's still pretty cool. And this is the worst matchup. Okay, so us being one at KO'd is like the worst case scenario. So that's great. Just need to get a Iona or something. Hopefully, limit them. Of course, Fortress. We just go for Ionas after that, and and we'll see where it takes us. But I'm not feeling too great about the Power Man. They Shivery Chill anyway, and they grab two Water Energies there. Playing it in the Rita as well. Yeah, I don't know why I'm talking like this is a good hand. It isn't a good hand. I don't know what made me think that, but it's not. I need a supporter now. That isn't Penny. There's a Vulpix. Oh, God. Donnie's prepping for the post rotation. And I get two backs out as well. This is not looking good, man. Not only can the Chen Pao one it KO me, but they also have a card that just prevents me from hitting them. I mean, it's like they saw me coming, but that's just me conspiracy brain. There's an Ultra Ball coming in. Get rid of a Mana Feet and an Energy there. Get a Bidoof as well. Just, just keep setting up, mother. Just, just, just fill out your board. Wonderful stuff while I see here and suffer. Give me something. Oh, okay. Arvin's pretty cool, right? Because Arvin allows me to get Counter Catcher and Defiance Band, which are like just good cards. But I think I Arvin for a Lilligant and maybe a Defi. Ooh. Uh, uh, God, I think I have to get the Lilligan V Star out. Right, we go for that, and I could go for the Bravery Charm, but I expect this chestnut to be going down, if I'm honest with you. So, ah, uh, God. Well, if I get, if I hit 130, it does 120 back. That's enough to KO the Champ out if they hit me for KO. So, that's just fine then. I mean,. I guess I'll go for the Defiance Band. Yes. I mean, to be fair, I think the energy is probably more worth it. Um, not really, now that I think about it. So, I think we just go for a... Oh, do I want to keep my penny? What if it survives the turn? Like, what if I just, just run it like that and survive the turn, go for a penny? I mean, I might need penny. So, I think just the, going into the future, if things weirdly go my way, then penny is definitely my best bet. So let's go for a Exploding Energy here. And it will let me charge up literally the Chestnuts and the Axe and on the bench does of course give them their two prizes and then we go for Lilligans. get the other the other chestnut out it's just because it's level eight too high i could have snuck in a one one line of cricket but again i don't think it actually matters here i'm just gonna get the rest as energy because it'll be manually attaching from here on out and we just go like this and then we just swing so look the good thing is the chen Bao hits us they do ko themselves and likewise with the volpix the volpix if it swings into us granted we can't hit it but it does two hit ko itself because of our ability if we have all four chestnut out so i don't know look they come on at chaos they Okay, themselves in return, and then we just have to kind of go from there. But it's just not great. It just ain't great. <laughs> There's the Volpix V Star, and they do indeed shivery chill. They only need four energy to KO me here, but are they going to be willing to, to KO themselves for that for that outcome, bro? If it's up their rock's hand, it's going to be filth. Actually, that said, they could get the barrel now, and they are. They're prepping themselves there. Can't blame them for that. I'm sure, they won't have done this unless they had an out to the revert of retrieval right now, because you have to KO me here. I know it KOs them back, but that's kind of like their only option. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep swinging myself. Either way, they go for concealed cards without using industrious incisors. So they've got to have it then. They've got, they've got to have it, right? You go for retrieval, you get energy, you accelerate energy, and then you have a barrel. Okay, so they get rid of a rod and a boss. I mean, what do you get here? They get another Chen Power Head. No, they're failing it. Oh, they're digging for it. Okay. Wait, super cold. Yeah, that makes sense. Attach energy, maybe a second. Yep. And then find the other two, hopefully. I mean, they should have it. It's Chen Power. It's pretty good at this, but I didn't expect this bloody thing. <laughs> Out of the blue, mate. Fully. Um. Well, oh, okay, Arena, that, that, that gets them there. They should be get no they should be getting themselves another chen pao unless they've they, they don't play only play two i mean if you're trying to fit in a volpix i can understand why you actually go down to two chen pao Look, if they're with the chen pao that's actually quite good because then they obviously but they ko us they ko themselves we come with chestnut and swing and we have penny to play with a little bit you know i don't know but it, listen i'm on full copium right now <laughs> they go for a super cold and we're just gonna see where it takes us man <sighs> two energy there oh no they're gonna they're gonna they're just gonna load up uh, uh, actually that is correct hail blade coming in taking the knock out. However, Needle Line will come in clutch for us and take the Nakotak out to back. I can't stay up. What's that? There's the last one, and that is AKO. It's just we are behind on the price trade because we made that happen. Oh, boss, though. Could I swing the backs? I mean, I'm not KOing it, though. If I had Defiance Ban now, oh, see, now, now, sit. Top deck, though. Top deck Defiance. Please, come on. I don't know why I'm hoping for that, and no. Mesagosa seems like a bad idea. I think I boss up the Vulpix ahead of time. Unless I box boss up Big Barrel. Oh, let's try that play. Let's go for it. Alright, touchdown there. And what will happen? They'll come up with Vulpix 
they swing into me, right? They'll take 90 damage. I penny and do nothing because I can't hit them. But then eventually, there'll be a KO. No? Counter catch there. We'll see. I'm just trying to hit them so they can't get a ton of super cold play. You know, the barrel's a big deal. If I top deck a Roxanne or an Iono, then we're talking. Oh, well, they do have Greninja Steel, don't they? And they definitely have a treat because they did just get rid of a Lightning. So, there's an Arida. Surely if they had the Chen Pao, they get it now. Like, you want Chen Pao 100% in this situation because you just win the game. <laughs> you know? They just get an Earthen Vessel. Aha. Uh -huh. They play the Earthen Vessel. Get rid of Iron Hands. So, that strat's gone. To be fair, it's not a good strat now anyway for them. Am I going to just attach, retreat the Frigid Backs? I mean, it does kind of fall into what I wanted here, to be fair. They do get another back. So, gusting the backs for for KO was not really a good idea now. And they're just going to switch. All right. So what I want to do is obviously let the Snow Mirage come in. Is it any ability? So this is the Junior Fenster turn, print all damage to the Speckle Mirage attack. Okay. So even if I attack with this Chestnut, it still won't work. So I've got to pick it up, but I also want a, a, a switch car. Oh, that does it. Okay. Okay. So here's the strap, right? We pick it up and give them this Chestnut. They hit that. We switch car. It just buys us a, it's like a turn or so. You know what I mean? I could also counter catch something up and counter catch good ninja honestly that's also not a bad shout right well we definitely penny but do i penny and then counter catch a greninja or do i i don't know this person's giving me about 20 thumbs down but i think i just penny and force the vulpix to hit me again like this well i can't attach return okay that's annoying and then i just pass force the swing in go for a switch maybe then take out greninja with the counter catcher also i could get myself a charm which will help and i do greninja go for poker stop though and yep just more stuff, but nothing that's going to want it KO me. They must have prized the Chen Pao, for sure. There's no way you're playing one. No shot. Okay, they got... Wait, what? Wait, they have their V-Star power? 70 damage for each opponent. Oh, why didn't they do that before then? What the hell? What the hell was all that about? I'm sure some, uh, I can guarantee a lot of you in the comments are like, Sean, V-Star power. None of it. Here's me saying this deck legitimately works, and then we come up against a Chen Pao. Yes, Chen Pao is just bad. You don't want a Chen Pao matchup. You don't want a Roar Moon matchup, that's for sure. Uh, well, to be fair, Roaring Moon, I'm sure you could cope in some way. Let's put those pine cones to work, you know what I mean? Start attacking with the Lilligans and stuff. You don't have the chest, not. But uh, yeah, I still, I still think it's pretty fun. Funnily enough, I think a lot of this deck actually stays post rotation. So there's that for those who do like a good bit of chest, not action. But other than that, we are going to leave it there. I know it's on the shorter side, but the Arsenal game's going to kick off in 15 minutes and I ain't going to miss it. You're joking. With all seriousness, though, uh, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next one where I try and be funny. Bye-bye.